Tinny, it's dark so much earlier now. So much earlier. It's only 6.15 and the sun's, it's like already getting dark. That's crazy. to go into H&M for sure on our way back. Okay. Hey, it's a bath and body works. There's such pretty stuff in this. You're so cute, mama. How the heck do we get downstairs with a stroller? Because I am not taking you down the escalator. <laughs> there it is, Tenny. And body works. Um, we are looking for this rent store, Tenny. Just be by it here on Hospital. Oh, it's lush, Tenny. Look, I love lush. You like Lush too, don't you? Where is this kind of store? I do not know. Maybe it's over here? Um, I don't know, girl. I just don't know. It's so good in here. Not even eight o'clock yet and it's already and it completely dark I don't know when it started getting darker earlier I feel like I didn't even notice it 
in my car seat and ready to go. Hi there, so I didn't actually get to shop nearly as much as I wanted to. Um, I'm not gonna be able to go into <laughs> home goods at all because Chad called right after I was finished at Sprint. Um, he, I, I just popped into Bath and Body Works for just a second and he called while I was in there. I'd probably been in there for like five minutes and he called um, letting me know to go ahead and leave so I could get him from work. <laughs> It's just like so typical. Like when I get a second to myself, he calls. Anyway, that's fine. I need to go and get him from work so that he's not waiting around. And I'm just right up the street, so it's, it's perfect timing. But as you can see, we are in Jacksonville and it's not the safest city in the world, but um, I think that moms who are by themselves or even dads, anyone, if you have a baby and you're by yourself, I think you should probably adhere to um, something that I just did, which is when you put your baby in their car seat, you know, if it's not, if your car seat is not also your stroller, which mine is not because my stroller allows Tennyson to lay a little flatter. She's not all scrunched up like she is in her car seat. Um, so it, I have to take her out of her stroller to put her in her car seat. And anyway, you're so much more vulnerable, like when you have your back turned to the rest of the world and you're putting your baby in their car seat, even if it's during the day, but especially at night. So um, it's recommended that you actually get in the car to put the baby in the car seat. So um, like Tennyson, I can stick her in the seat real fast um, and then run around to the other side uh, because she won't, she'll stay where I put her for right now. Um, but if your child, you know, is a little more mobile than mine, then definitely just take them out of the stroller, toss the stroller in the back, whatever, and then get in the back seat with them to put them in their car seat. And then you're not quite as vulnerable. I just can't stand the thought of like someone, me snapping her into her car seat and then someone driving away in my car. Like if, especially because I like to have it already cranked up. Um, and that doesn't require me putting my keys in the ignition, so they really wouldn't be able to go anywhere, but that could potentially put us in a really dangerous situation. So please remember that moms and dads, when you're by yourself and you're putting your child in your car seat, please just, it's not worth the risk, go ahead and get in the car with them and put them in their car seat there. Now let's go pick up Chad. So we're back at home watching some baseball. Can hear Tenny. Chad is, we got Chad from work successfully. Say, hey baby. He's eating Hot Pockets. We're trying to get rid of her diaper rash. So we're letting her air out. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm gonna be crawling real soon. Doing so well, baby. So I am working hard to learn to crawl. And you can tell she wants to go too. Like she really wants to crawl, huh? Gorgeous. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, dear. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You should never do it for the camera. You know this. And this completes my mini self-care haul. So I wanted to take a second to show you our little bit. Hey, Gracie. Hey, hey Gracie. Show you our little baby Prim. Her eye is, it just looks so bad. It looks so painful. Um, Esme scratched her. She and Esme are always at war with each other. <laughs> Don't mind my dirty floor over there. Gracie, okay, calm down. See that? And you can see they're dilated unevenly. You can clearly see a scratch on this left eye. It's very pink. Okay, Gracie, Gracie, come here. Look at that, it's so red. 
Hey girl. Oh my goodness, my love. And you can see actually around it is really pink as well. So I'm gonna take her to the vet tomorrow about it. It just breaks my heart. For the most part, I'm just keeping she and Esme away from each other. And it's your eye. Hey, mama. Oh, love. So what you just missed was tennis and waking up, just absolutely losing it, screaming. And she's been doing this over the past week or so. I noticed that she's pulling at her ears or she's pulling at one of her ears, but it's only at a time when she's really upset. So, and she hasn't been running a fever at all. So I think I'm going to take her into the doctor tomorrow, just in case. Um, yeah, no fever, but I, I thought at first that she was waking up because of like nightmares, but um, I think she might have something going on with her ear. for the animals <laughs> but this right here is actually what I wanted to film so Abby texted me and said that Tenny had a little surprise from Gwen and I guess this is it I have no clue what this could even be so this is super exciting I love surprises My goodness. No. Baby, don't say anything stupid, okay? I'm filming and unboxing. <laughs> Not that my husband would ever say anything outlandish or stupid or offensive. No. <gasps> this is so cute. Look at this. <gasps> and this is just adorable oh my gosh so it has pink roses and um it looks like the old-fashioned type of mickey which i i like the original like the original mickey and oh, look at that detailing that lace detailing oh now this is cute oh my goodness oh my gosh look at this one Ruffle butts. So cute. I love their little logo. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my goodness. This is just. Oh. I am so humbled that you sent this to us. Oh, and there's my card. Actually, this is for Kenny. I hope you won't mind that I'm opening it in her place. We've been working on reading, but she's not quite there yet. Maybe at five months. I'm hopeful. Welcome to the book club. Oh, this is for the book club. Awesome. Abby, thank you so much. You're an amazing friend and I love it. I just love these outfits so much. I'm sorry. Gwen. Thank you so much. You're such an amazing friend. Penny loves her outfits. <laughs> I am finally in the tub. It took a while. So this is the bath bomb. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's my razor. This is the bath bomb that I bought tonight. It's vanilla, almond, pumpkin, I think. And anyway, it's supposed to be extra, extra fizzy, so. Moment of truth. Ready? Oh, it smells amazing. I 
was in the tub for I think about 15 minutes. I had just set my bath bomb in it and was watching it fizz and I think you can actually hear in the video, um, it's like the second I set my bath bomb in the, the tub and I'm watching it fizz, um, it sounds like Tenny starts choking in the bedroom. So anyway, I like fly out of the tub and Chad already had her up because he was in bed sleeping and she was in her little bassinet, which is beside the, beside the bed. So he had already gotten to her and had her sitting up and we don't know if she actually like was choking or, oh. or she just maybe had some congestion. She's making this like, like kind of snarling sound, like maybe she does have some congestion or like a stuffy nose, but when I try to suck stuff out of her nose, nothing comes out, so. Anyway, she was really upset. I mean, she was just screaming and she had her little fingers inside of her mouth. Like her gums just hurt her so bad and she was just squalling, so. Fifteen right now. I know I'm a night owl, but even this is a bit much for me. I'm exhausted. I think we're just gonna hang out on the couch tonight since she's fussy. It just kills me to see her hurting. And Prim too, like her little eye just, oh. We've gotta get this stuff all worked out tomorrow just so it like, <laughs> just so it stops like creating all this pain in me too like it's so hard watching the ones you love just be in pain mm, baby. okay guys good night continuation of yesterday's vlog. I'm in the bathroom, of course, uh, getting ready right now. And I slept just a couple of hours last night between Prim and Tennyson. Tennyson, um, of course, I filmed the footage of where I was in the tub and then I had to hurry and get out because I heard her coughing. She's, uh, or it sounded like she was choking. She's been coughing quite a bit this morning as well. And so I, um, Chad had to go into work at nine. So since I still don't have my car back yet, <clears throat> I rode with him so that I could take Tennyson to the doctor. I called as soon as they opened at nine and they said they could fit us in at 1115. Um, and then right after that, I called about Prim and I'm actually gonna have to take her to a vet downtown about her eye um, and they'll, they consider her situation, uh, a kind of an emergency. So, um, or when I told them what was going on, they said I could just walk in and, and they would consider it like an emergency. So she is not life or death right now. <laughs> She's, it's just her eyes in bad shape, but because I've built up a rapport there, uh, we've taken several other animals there. They know us and so they kind of made an exception to fit us in. They recommended us coming in at around two because I told them that I didn't mind waiting. I've waited for hours before in their waiting room. That's not a big deal to me. Um, but since I have Penny now, it's a little different. You know, I can't really have her in there waiting for hours, so. They recommended that we come in at two and hopefully we won't have to wait very long. Right, Tim? 
thank God for dry shampoo, you guys, because I didn't even get to wash my hair last night, but I had already wet it. It happened right after I wet my hair, but never actually got to wash it. <laughs> so it just looked like this little grease pit on my head today. It still does in the back. But we're just gonna have to deal, I think, because we have to go. That dry shampoo didn't last very long, did it? George, look at this policeman, Tenny. Mm -hmm. This is George. He lived in Africa. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. See, George, he's eating a banana. One day, George saw a man. He had on a large yellow straw hat. There's the man. The man saw George too. Tenny looks so cute right now. She's holding the little toys that I made for her. Oh, you dropped them. You want your cookie? Yeah. I love that she can hold on to stuff now. It's so cute. Dr. B said that he didn't see anything of concern. He said that, and I had thought this to be true already, but um, he confirmed my suspicion. He said that when uh, babies are teething, they will pull at their ear a lot of times, even though nothing is wrong with their ear, just because they have pain coming from this general vicinity and they can't really, you know, a baby doesn't really have the capacity to determine where the pain is coming from. So they'll, their ear is a lot easier to pull on than their gum. And poor Tenny last night was just breaking my heart. She woke up screaming and she was going, ah, and just like moaning and crying and had her little hand stuck in her mouth, which is good. And guys, how do you deal with it? It breaks me inside. So anyway, but the good news is that, you know, teething is very normal, although it's heartbreaking. It's entirely normal and she doesn't have any accompanying issues such as ear infections. So, and he checked out her stomach too. He said it could also be gas, of course, that her waking up screaming the way she does, um, just very overtly that it could be gas. That's usually what that is. So um, we haven't been you know, always burping her before she goes to sleep, because you know, a lot of times she'll fall asleep nursing. So I'll probably have to get a little bit better about burping her um, before I lay her down. So I'm gonna call her dad and it's 12.03 now. Uh, I'm gonna have to call her dad real quick and rush back home and get Prim and try to get her downtown. <laughs> We're gonna make it. We're gonna do it all. It's gonna work. It is. Look at this beautiful, beautiful day. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Look over here in this direction. Oh. Going over the bridge is amazing.
charging him for them anyway, so he wants me to take those back. Of course, let's just add one more thing to today because we're all handling it so well. <laughs> Got cat, child, diaper bag, sanity. Three out of four is not bad. So we're finally back in the exam room at the vet and we've been here for two and a half hours because we were a, a walking non-emergency. And Tenny was really patient the whole time. See, but I'm giving her some of my water <laughs> in a straw. Um, she was really patient the whole time that we were in the waiting room for two and a half hours. But as soon as we get back to the exam room, she wants to eat. And so I'm like trying, I put a nursing cover on and I'm trying to nurse her in the exam room while the technician is checking the cat out. And at that same time, I get a message from Chad wondering why, I guess he had tried to call me. Um, and he's like, why aren't you answering via text message? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like I have my hands full or anything. <laughs> Everyone just needs to stop needing something from me. <laughs> you do. I tried to feed her and she wouldn't eat. She, um, she doesn't want the cover over her head, but she really likes water out of a straw. check with Chad and see if it's cool with him if I don't take those phones back today just because it's too much for Prim and for Tenny. They've Tenny's had such a long day. They just brought Prim in and they put the dye in her eye and everything and so that it looks pretty superficial so they're gonna start her out with antibiotics first and if that doesn't clear it up then they can do um, a serum where they extract some blood and spin it in a, a centrifuge and extract a sort of serum that helps the eye to rebuild itself or that tissue to rebuild itself. So amazing, right? But hopefully it won't come to that. That's usually for more severe injuries and hers doesn't look that severe. So they just have her in the back right now. They're gonna bring her back. Um, and they apologized for the way they said that they're short staffed today. They only have one veterinarian and one technician. And so that's why it's taking so long. And I don't mind. We didn't have anywhere else to be today and we didn't have an appointment scheduled. So, you know, it's definitely not the people's fault who are working hard. Anyway, I'm going to make an appointment so the next time we come back, we don't have to wait so long. You're okay. You're, you're okay, baby. Okay. Oh, my angel. 
Angel, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. This is why I love this vet and come to them because they're a nonprofit and they uh, will actually provide free treatment to someone um, who has a pet if they're homeless. They have this donation program where you can donate additional funds um, and they'll match a certain amount. It's just really, really good. It's St. Francis Animal Hospital. So we come here and sometimes like the wait is long just because a lot of people come here because they want to support the cause and because it's affordable. Oh my gosh, I just now thought about the fact that we're probably going to be going home during rush hour traffic. Home a little while ago. It's 7.30 and we've been gone since I think 8.30 this morning. Thank you. You can hear my husband playing his stupid game in the back. Does anyone else have a husband who's obsessed with Fortnite and just like want to punch the creator of Fortnite in the face? Just saying. <laughs> hey, hey, Kitty. See, his dad has date night with his girls. And he took his girls out on a date. Just from our drink selections alone, especially his. An old fashioned. <laughs> and I got a Grey Goose Martini. But it has Gorgonzola stuffed olives. Oh no. And I brought two bottles for her. So the juice bar is closed. Oh. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. As soon as I said the juice bar was closed, she just started melting down. <laughs> trying to be just like, it ain't closed. It's closed when I say it's closed. Melting pot. We ordered the classic Alpine. That one's my favorite. Because we have a vlog that we made when I was pregnant where we basically um, had a little, made our own little melting pot experience at the house. Remember that? And I actually made the Alpine cheese at home. I hooked it up. It was good. Mm -hmm. I put um, crock pots on the coffee table with extension cords. <laughs> and we made all the cheese and the broth and everything right there on the coffee table watching movies. What did we even watch? Remember? I feel like we would remember that. Yeah, I don't remember either. It wasn't The Revenant. It was, it was a really, really like epic movie we watched. It was a good night. 
you probably fell asleep during the movie. That's what Chad does with really epic movies. He falls asleep during them and then wakes up at the end to talk about how much the movie sucks because it doesn't make any sense and he has no idea it's because he slept through the whole thing. <laughs> That's the good stuff, Tenny. She's like, no, I got the good stuff. like the center of the earth so <laughs> he doesn't want to eat it I don't want to eat it because it took off the first layer of my tongue and, I'm still one of <gasps> and he's stealing one of my olives mm. I'm sure like right <laughs> I know you know, I thought it was stuffed with cheese though. I thought, yeah, on the menu, I'm pretty sure I said it was going to be stuffed with cheese. And the only thing better than a Grey Goose olive is a Grey Goose olive stuffed with cheese. <laughs> get the ones with cheese if that's what you want. To, get, to go with the rest of our cheese. Yeah. Yeah, right, Tinny. <laughs> Got our entrees, the ketty, filet, and shrimp. And then the steak is for Chad, shrimp for me. Mm. Salad. All our veggies. And cocoa bin. Broth. Looks good. Teddy is still eating. We're on ounce number seven and a half. Any other time she'd be sleeping, but of course <laughs> we're out with her. And Chad offered to take her, but there's not enough room on this side. Of you. <laughs> we'll just lay her out on the table. <laughs> Look at Tiddy, she's like, what? I think it's great out here. I love this place. <laughs> Chad's having to cook all my food for me and give it to me. Thank you, baby. Because Tenny here has decided that she just doesn't need sleep again. Ever. <laughs> How long did he sleep up with shrimp? Two minutes. a minute. And everything else is a minute and a half. We made it through four courses and she's still awake. She's still awake. <laughs> oh, that'd be great! Would you mind? Oh. 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 Oh.
precious little angel is sleeping over there. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, it's a bit different. I know it's a two day vlog, <laughs> but just how everything worked, I thought it was more appropriate to set it up that way. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and um, hit the little bell so that you can receive notifications. And um, I'd love to hear what you thought about our day, what you think about, you know, what's going on, any comments on Tenny's cuteness are welcomed, and Prims, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Have a great night.